ready. Welcome back to Cleveland on the Rocks. Hell <laughs> lies in the bourbon bar. And I'm Matt, you got Jay, and we got a brand new dickle for you on a Monday. All right, welcome back. We got our Dickel Nine Year here, which is like the super coolest bottle ever. Because you know, Jay, Dickel. You can't even say Dickel without saying Jay in the same sentence, because I feel like it needs to be mentioned. Jay loves this Dickel. That, that's, that, was, that was a little much. That was, was all right, I'm sorry. So basically, I, uh, I was in uh, Kentucky on my way to uh, Tennessee. And I stopped at State Line Liquor, which everyone knows, State Line Liquor is one of my most favorite stores ever. I love that place. So, they had a hand-selected barrel, which is aged nine years. Oh, wow, it even has the date on it and everything. So, the barrel number is 08J311225. Wait, just for me, see the J? See? J was in it. Now, your barrel date was October 31st, 2008. And now we have it here. So, this one is a 50%. 100 proof bottle, which is from Cascade Hollow Distilling Company. It's got this super cool wooden tag on it, too. 100 I feel like that's awesome. So, our normal dickles that we've had all the time, you guys can go back and see all the videos. We've done a whole bunch of dickle videos, 99% of them. I'm pretty sure Jay was in. I'm actually probably was in all of them because he is the biggest dickle fan I've ever met in my life. So, Dickel is reminiscent of the Canadian whiskeys, like your crowns and stuff like that, and it has a very similar flavor with our profile of what we can tell you what it is. All right. So that's where we go with that. I feel like I should have opened this before we win it, because there we go. All oh, right. Put the one in his mouth. He's, yeah. <laughs> wow, that was rough. Oh, and now the pun start. You ready? Let's crack open this dickle and see how happy Jay is. He's trying so hard. That was I'll a good pop, too. Taste, I hope. He was, dude. He's, I'm telling you, he's going to love this. Yeah, there's not a dickle that Jay does not like. I'm telling you, when you sent me this bottle, <laughs> I was super excited. Right? I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, man, I want to try this. I couldn't believe that they actually had a dickle pick there. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I've never went into a store and they actually had a, a dickle single barrel pick. Like, this is crazy. Very cool looking bottle. You can see exactly what it looks like here. Got the very cool wooden tag on it, hand selected, nine year, whatever, you can see it. So, it's there. What are we smelling here? Is this a little more smoky than you're used to on a dickel? It is. Uh -huh. This is really corny though. Really what? Corn, lots of corn. Corn? I smell corn, corn. Oh wow, yeah, that's a different, that's yeah. a different set. Well, we did just do a video on some corn moonshine, so I'm feeling like that's where that's and, coming and from. And now I'm smelling it. I mean, I'm really smelling it here. To be honest, this this smells to me like the Dickel 8 and the Dickel 12 that we've had on the videos before, mixed with the Private Select Barrel, with an extra kick of a hint of like a wet tobacco with a overly, overly charred oak. I yeah, yeah, smell the oak, yeah. Very, really very, do. very, yeah. very smoky oak. It's got a nice color too, though. Look at that. It is. It's very, very dark. I really, I'm, I'm a big fan of everything that's like super dark like this. Yeah. So this is right up my alley. Uh, it has Dickel in the name, so it's up Jay's alley. And <laughs> better up my alley than anything else, right? <laughs> wow, wow. You said the puns would be good. <laughs> He's the one doing the puns, though. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That was different. Uh, no, I'm, I'm with you. This is very dark. Uh, it coats your glass. The legs on this oh, run the entire days. glass as high as you can spin it. This is ridiculously like thick. So I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Cheers. Let's see. All right. Shot. Oh wow. Okay. That hits you up front. Over right up front. Overly smoky. By the time it hits the back of your throat, it's gone. But the height, the okay. So oh, the smoke, smoke as you there. as you catch it at the beginning, the smoke starts off like a minute smoke, ish, and then it heightens itself to the middle of your palate. The end of your palate fills up your entire mouth with smoke. Yeah, then just the warmth time. that comes down, and it's like, you. This is this is really, but there's really warm, good. This no is burn. Deep. No, none. No burn. Not, at all. not burn at all. 
this That's the thing about Dickel, though. I've strong. never had a Dickel product that actually burnt. I wasn't trying to be funny. I've never had one that actually is like super hot where I'm like, I don't want this again. Do you know what I'm saying? Everything yeah. that we've had from Dickel, honestly, has been absolutely fantastic. I, I think this may be, in my opinion, because I do like the other Dickels. Um, Dickel 12 is your favorite one. Right. Okay. My this. favorite was the Private Select Barrel that you bought. The bottle that looks exactly like this one. So the bottle looks dead on, but it's not the nine year and it's not a store pick. Um, this store pick from State Line Liquor is absolutely fantastic. It tastes like I'm smoking a cigar hand rolled from Mexico and drinking a regular bottle of the Dickel Barrel Proof one, in it's, my opinion. It's not what I expected, right? but it's not a letdown at all. No. It's like I expected it to be here. It's here, but it's just in a different lane. It that it's, makes sense. It does because uh, your 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 profile is not the overly smoky thing. It's not right. the I want to smoke a cigar and have this because smoking a cigar. Let me just say this too: smoking a cigar with this will heighten what this tastes like. And I already think it's here. It would be here with a cigar in my hand outside. See, and I'm not Dead a cigar on. smoker, right. so I relate it to something else like. Mm. A glass of this with a steak. This this is the third video I've shot today where people have compared this to meats. It I just, feel like this is an omen, and this is a bottle that I also have to bring down when I do the meat reviews with the whiskeys. And I, I'm with you. I am. Yeah. I did fantastic. So I, I want to make they would sure. They each other. See? 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 I don't want to be the one in the video to point out that this would go with this because I can already see where it is. If someone else can pull that and say this, then I know it's definitely meant to be because yes, this definitely would go with like a smoked meat, like a brisket. A brisket would be This would be perfect. Yes. I feel like and this isn't a this isn't even a pun like of they didn't even they don't even know that I'm going to do all the meat tastings with the whiskeys here to say this in our videos. It's like a natural this is where it, it came on its own. Which I can't you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you're, so you're absolutely right. I'm so jealous. I, I want to be there. <laughs> you can come you taste. can come you can come down I will invite all you guys when we do come down there and come do it. You guys can come down there with us. It'll be super fun. Um I do have a couple videos. They weren't here for the prior videos that come before this one that will be out because you will see where I say that I am going to go do tastings and do this. We will be there doing it. I feel like people are there. This does this. Uh, the pairing of whiskey and bourbons with meats, I believe, is the wave of where I'm going to start going because this is what needs to be done. I'm with you. Yeah, I, I definitely. This I would think be come definitely a perfect We're going to be doing. We're gonna be doing tastings outside of the grill. Mm-hmm. I got. I got to try it again. Oh, you haven't? Yeah. No, I, I got you. I got you. This is. Oh wow. So the second taste doesn't have all the smoke that that first one did. Um, not that it's a letdown off of what you came off the first one, but it's lightened since it's went down. Um, it still has that smoke. It still has that tobacco taste. It has that uh, kind of a almost a, a leather taste to it. Leather. Um, yes. I would give you a, I don't even know, there's actually, there's something that I put in, uh, oh, what is it? My candle just burnt out. That's why I'm smelling burnt candles, so now I'm like thrown off completely of what I was going at. I'm, this is, this is I really good. I absolutely love this bottle. Yeah, me too. I was, yeah, this is fantastic. I, I, this is one of my favorite liquor stores to stop at. They always have something crazy there that's super weird. The last time I went there, they had all the Willet pot stills and all the sizes you could buy. And then they had this sitting there, and I'm like, yeah, I have to get that. No. And then I sent him a picture instantly in the store. And I was excited. Couldn't wait um, to get over here. Right? And, right? I, and I hate to, I hate to, I don't think I can ruin it, but I hate to attempt to, but I want to. I have to. I'm not. I want to chill this. I know where you're going. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe you, you can, well, I'll put one in yours. Just one. I don't think I'm going to follow you on this. I'm going to be honest. Only because I curiosity that, is beating me up. Um, it's going to water it down. It's going to, well, I don't want it. It's going to heighten the smoke just into the front. I just want to get a little chill to so it. You should do it within it the first 10 seconds before it gets too hot. Cause this is hot and that's super cold. Right. So it's going to already melt. All right. Let's see what he gets on this with some ice in it. Cause I'm, I'm feeling this by itself. I feel like this is fantastic. You liked it more? 
No, I feel like I almost want Listen, one, but I'm like, I'm, I think you, I'm You gonna... have to. You have to. Really? Yes, right. absolutely. Well, I, I need to know them, what you get. Tell, them, tell but, them what you get off your, your dick. So remember how we talked about how that went in and it just coated everything and you felt that heat in there? Yeah. All that was going, it was like a smooth coating inside your mouth. Okay. And then I got that in the back of my throat. Yeah. For no, I never <laughs> lost the taste. Never lost the taste. All right, you ready? This is probably... All right, I know you're empty. Cheers to you guys out there. I hope you guys have oh, something cool out there. You agree with me? I'm going to tell you, this is the best bottle I've ever tried here. Oh, wow, that's way different, though. All right, so with a very little bit of... I put in a half a ice cube in mine and let it melt a little bit. So basically what I get from this is... Um, do you know how you put liquid smoke on meats on the grill? You ever had that? Um... The taste of natural smoke that comes from your whiskey and bourbons that you're used to drinking, this is this is not that with ice. When you put ice in it, it turns it to the liquid smoke that you drip on stuff. That's an artificial smoke taste, and it comes at the back of it. It's very light on the beginning, and it does come in with an easy brown sugar start. And then it finishes with like a liquid weird smoke taste at the yeah. end, which is still good. And then it goes down. There's no burn. There's no nothing. That takes the burn away completely. Right. Everything was smooth correct. right here, and it was, yeah. and then right here in my throat. It changes. It was almost the like it moved my taste buds a, to the back. Yes, yes. It changes the natural smoke taste that you get off the initial touch of your tongue to the back. Uh, gone from that, and sweet at the front, and smoke, but liquid smoke at the back, and it changes it for that. And it's. I don't think it's better or worse. I think it's good both ways. Right. I think, honestly, if I was smoking a cigar, I'd rather have it with no ice. And if I wasn't, we were down here just having a conversation, I would put uh, this in uh, here with one piece of one ice piece. and maybe a half a glass, and I would be happy with that. Or so, even chill I think it's glass. good either way. Actually, we've... Yes, I do. That is coming in future videos, Frosted too. Glass. I have had that. Um, I'm not going to keep my my Glencairns out here. I'm going to put them in the freezer, and then we're going to use them cold. And I think the temperature has a difference in the two. That way we don't water down... The yeah. And yep. you'll still get it cold like you want it cold. So right. It'll still give you what you want, but you're not going to have the water. Because I don't usually add water to stuff because then it gives you like a lessened taste that you're used to getting from it, which is not a, ever a bad thing. But, because I think with this, with the ice, I would do one piece of ice when we're sitting down I here. Still, I still have all that this flavor is, this in is there. Fantastic. It's still there. I'm this just, is really this good. This is the best bottle I've had here. I wouldn't, I, yeah. I would say this is, this is, this is very good. Yeah. It is very, very good. For, for the Dickel line... I feel like this is the top of the Dickel line that we've ever had, period. Like, Absolutely. this is probably yeah, the best is, Dickel bottle we've ever had here. Yeah, by far. So, I hope, uh, and, and by the way, way, this bottle, I think when I sent you the picture, I think the price was in it. I think it was under $60. It was either it was either $49.99 or $59.99. I don't remember. Uh, I bought a lot of bottles there, it's so it doesn't, it. I have no idea. Perfect bottle. Even at 60 bucks with the tax, 66 bucks or whatever it is, absolutely perfect. And I would say this is probably under that. I don't know. But this is awesome. So if you ever do see this bottle, the nine year is absolutely perfect. I love it. So make sure if you guys are out there drinking something cool, let us know because we want to try it too. That'd be super cool. And make sure you're not drinking and driving. Do the thing. Get the Uber. Get TJ. Get whoever you got to get home and just do your thing and get home safe. Don't uh, forget to order your shirts. Yeah, do that. Order you a shirt and make sure you like the video. Put a thumbs up. Do the thing. That'd be super cool. We appreciate all you guys. See you next time.